Hi, everyone. Welcome to Gnan Cloud Garage. In this quick bit, I'm going to talk about how to create a bootable ESP for ESXi 8.0 update 2 edition using Rufus tool. Okay. And before we start creating a bootable USB, what are the minimum requirements? The minimum requirements are we require a, uh, let's say, let me connect to the system. We require a one bootable USB, let's say free USB. Let's say I have one USB drive that currently there is no data in this USB drive. If you see this USB drive, it's approximately 57.2 GB free space. If you go to the properties and you can go to the hardware, we can see that this is a USB SAN disk, currently it is available with free, free space. So this USB, I'm going to make it as a bootable USB drive. That means we need a one Windows system and we need a one pen drive. And using this USB drive, we can going to make it as a bootable. And with interest of our time, I just downloaded the tools. If you see here, Rufus portable file is already downloaded and VMware ESXi 8.0 update to file also downloaded and these two download directly you can search from the internet we can find the actual path for example if you type the roof host website in the internet within a roof host we have a multiple options to download either we can download roof host file dot exe standard file or we can download a portable file anything we can choose to download i just downloaded the portable file okay within this demo and VMware ESX download also pretty straightforward. We can log into the VMware customer connect portal using our registered email address. Once we log in, we can download the, we can choose the specific file like 8.0, 8.0B, update one, update one A, update two, and update two B is the latest one. So I selected update two B and click on download. We have to use the ISO image file only. This offline bundle generally we use for a update scenarios. Okay, so this ISO image I already downloaded with interest of our time, I just keep it in a software folder. So now in order to make the create a bootable USB, the procedure is straightforward. Let me launch the Rufus. So once as it, it will launch the Rufus portable file. If you see here, the device it's de detected as USB drive 64 GB device detected and the bootable section if you select the drop down menu we have multiple options non bootable disk or iso image ms dos free dos but in our scenario when we are planning to make a bootable usb the relevant option is iso image because we are using iso image to make it as a bootable usb and there is option to select when you click on select we have to map our file see our file is c drive Within our C drive, it is in a software section. Within the software section, we can choose the VMware VM Visor ESXi file. Once you select this file, so there is no changes. We just go with the default options. The volume label, by default, it's detected as a our ISO file name 8.0 update 2. Okay. And the file system handle, just go with the default, click on start. When you click on start, it says ESB image detected, ISO image we have selected. And write in ISO image mode recommended. We can go with the default recommend option. Now click on. When you click on warning message, all data on device will be destroyed. Currently in our USB, there is no data. So we are good to proceed. So to continue with this operation, we have to click on OK. So when you click on OK, it will going to make our USB to a bootable USB. See, currently it's in progress. All the ESX ISO image files is going to move to the our USB drive and USB also, it's not like a normal copy paste file. It's like a making our USB as a bootable USB drive. The purpose of making this bootable USB drive is, let's say in real time scenario, if you plan to install ESX on your physical servers, like HP DL380 Gen 10 or Gen 11 server, or if you want to install an HP Synergy frame, or if you are trying to install on any other third party, like in this time, we need this bootable USB drive to install ESX ISO. Okay, so to install ESX ISO, general ISO file, we cannot directly mount on a physical server. We have to mount using bootable USBs only. Okay, 
So now when you click on close, this is only the procedure, it's completed. How we can verify? Again, go to the, this PC. When you see here, earlier our USB drive name is, it is showing as GNAN. And now the USB name, it changed to ESXi I 8.0 update to B edition. And when we open this drive, we can see all the bootable files are copied, okay? So this drive, when we trying to mount this USB to the any physical server, it will act as a bootable USB. Hope you understand the right away procedure, how we can make the bootable USB, okay? So that's it. Thank you. If you're watching this video first time, please do view, like, share, and subscribe to the Ignite Cloud Garage channel. If you're already subscribed, I appreciate all your support. Bye for now.